Lauren here with another episode of the Simply Curly channel. Super excited for today's video today. Today we're going to do another DIY mask. I'm so excited because, you know, this dry weather in Arizona is something else. So I need to really get my skin together. So before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe to the Simply Curly channel for more episodes and notifications for my videos. Like this video if you found it helpful and comment below if you have any other DIY masks that you love doing at home. Let's get into it, girls. Okay, so my face isn't washed yet right now, but I wanted to talk about this mask a little bit. Duke, excuse my dog. If you guys hear chiming, like it's, it's my dog, Duke. Um, so I ignore that in the background. I'm super excited to do this mask today with you guys and um, hopefully my peeps that love DIY will appreciate this too. Um, the reason why I chose the pumpkin mask was, you know, trying to find something festive for the fall season. Um, was wondering if you can even use pumpkin on your face. So I did a little bit of Googling for this mask. Basically, if you didn't know already, which I actually didn't know, um, first of all, I figured using pumpkin, I mean, it's natural, you know, it has to do something right <laughs> on your face. Uh, granted, I have never tried this mask before, you guys. So just researching pumpkin in general it has a lot of vitamins A, C, and E, which helps fight wrinkles. And it helps you, um, it has enzymes in it that uh, helps with redness of the skin. So it just leaves your skin super supple and all of that. So today, um, I will be doing a pumpkin mask on myself. Just note that um, you can use fresh pumpkin. Actually, we didn't really decorate much for Halloween, so I didn't have any old pumpkins laying around. But if you would like to use just the pulp of a pumpkin instead of going out to buy the like 100% pumpkin can, um, you can get that pulp out of the pumpkin, um, take the seeds out and do the mixture as I do, just with the pumpkin from your actual pumpkin from your um, decorations and all that, which is pretty nice, like repurposing the pumpkins that are already around your house. Again, unfortunately we didn't have any, or I would have done that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wash my face and, but while I'm doing that, I'm gonna roll a clip of all the ingredients that I used. I'll see you soon. Okay, now y'all, I'm back. I freshly washed my face and just dabbing it dry a little bit so it's not dripping. Okay, so I used, um, I don't know why, like, I'm, you guys, I am a product junkie because I found a facial scrub wash, like a daily wash with a little bit of exfoliant from Lush that I forgot I had. And I was like, oh, shoot, like, I ran out of my youth to people mat or facial cleanser. It was a sample size. I need to get some more. Like, cause I need a daily cleanser and I'm just like testing stuff out. But I found my angels on bare skin. Oh, and that's what I wash my face with. I wasn't gonna like show you guys that, those products because you can watch my like skincare routine video for that. But I totally forgot I had this and it just leaves my skin so feeling so clean. Um, and it's not harsh. Um, it has lavender and almonds. In it so that gives you an idea of like the smell and like the, the texture that scrubs your skin so you guys just saw my ingredients you know I'm saying and here's my mixture okay sorry not a pretty bowl but um, everything's in there again you can use a, a pumpkin you already have like you don't need to go out and buy the little pumpkin stuff but i did make sure there was only pumpkin in the can that i got um just to make sure there was no other like chemicals or whatever um but the mask does say to apply it for 20 minutes it's already 
it's already it smells like baby food so just like fyi there you guys um but you know beauty's pain like let's it doesn't have to smell good for you know a mask to work like it's always nice if it does smell good but like this is gonna be great so i'm going to apply and okay so ooh, it feels really cold oh my god it feels good. Oh. I love the feeling of this, you guys. Like, it feels so cool. And I've had it sitting for a little bit because I had to do some other stuff. I, like, mixed it and then. But, y'all. Try not to get it in your eyes. Um, I'm assuming that would burn. Don't want that. I want to make sure I got a lot on here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love masks that feel cold. I thought I might feel some tingly feeling, but I actually don't. It just feels cold, which is pretty soothing. And it makes up for the weird smell, you know, that it at least is a cooling type of feeling going on. Okay. And now that the mask is fully applied, I wanted to add some extra hydration because it's dry as the Sahara Desert out here. So I'm gonna put on a little lip mask. Um, to be honest, I don't remember where I got it from. It's called Patchology. Most likely, you know, from Sephora or something. So this stays on for 20 minutes, but this will only stay on for five. Um, and the serum you can massage into your lips. This is how the packaging looks. All right, so that's what it looks like. Sort of cut it a little bit on accident. It's really fragile. See you in 20 minutes. Alrighty, I am back y'all. It's about like two more minutes till I need to take this mask off. Um, it is hardening a little bit. Um, I thought I would feel some kind of like tingling feeling. I do not. I do imagine though that if I were using a fresh pumpkin that you might feel a little bit of tingling there. But you know, the thin, Parts of my mask are pretty like dried a little bit, which is interesting. So this material was, I'm sorry, my dog is barking. He ain't gonna do nothing though. Like just go lay down. But I'm gonna wash this out and I'll be right back just to talk about my experience. All right, y'all, I'm back. My face is rinsed. I'm gonna be finishing up my skincare while I am chatting with you guys about my experiences. So, my skin does feel really soft. Let me put some toner on. My skin does feel soft. Um, honestly, I've, I've felt a greater difference doing my Indian clay mask and my turmeric mask in terms of my skin feeling soft. because. Like my skin is really soft already, so it doesn't feel different from like me normally washing my skin. Overall, it was like, I felt like it was just a nice cooling mask. Like it wasn't anything other than that in terms of feeling. Now, I know that, you know, that mask is probably doing things that I don't even see um, on my end. 
which is pretty nice. So it's just like, even though you don't might, you might not feel the difference. Um, it's still good to feed your skin with healthy things. And before, I, it's not like bedtime just yet. Before I do go to bed, I am going to put on a sleep mask. But yeah, so this is how my skin looks after that mask. It looks pretty hydrated. I am super glad I did a mask because my, you guys, it's hard to explain. It's dry out here, like. We gonna come together, everybody, and review, rebuke the devil in Arizona. We need prayer. We need everybody to come together, and we need everybody to pray. I don't care what state you in. I don't care what degrees you have in. Arizona needs some prayer. Arizona needs some help. Cause it's hot. It's hot and some of us can't take it no more. I forgot how dry it is. Like it is just intense out here. So I want to make sure that, you know, my face is still intact and not breaking clean off. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love doing DIY stuff, trying new things. That was my first time again doing a pumpkin mask. I definitely would do it again, but I do like other masks over that one. Like I'm thinking about trying an avocado mask. I feel like I would like that better. I like my turmeric mask better and I even like the Indian clay mask better than the pumpkin. But just in terms of being festive, if you wanted to have like a girls night, like for Thanksgiving or a Friendsgiving, you guys can do pumpkin masks just to stay in trend. Super cute. But that's all I have for you, curls. Until next time, peace and love.